Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade English, week number 13 and day number 1. Alright, so that is correct. So today we are going to be doing a reading and comprehension. Reading and comprehension as our customers. And we're going to be going through certain questions right afterwards to measure our understanding of the text that we would have read. So the format is you are going to turn to page number 77 of your workbook if you've purchased it or downloaded it. Uh, and then we are going to read together. And if you haven't purchased your copy of it, you're welcome just to watch on the screen with us. Uh, the reading text is going to come in front of you and you're welcome to use that to follow along. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read from week number 13, day number one of fifth grade English. And it's going to be titled, Making Jesus Lord. Alright, I believe you got a chance to follow along with us as we read today's text to you. Alright, so we're going to go right now to uh, questions and answers. Uh, question number one over here on page number 78 talks about what decision, decision did Lily make that changed her life? Alright. So this is going to be a, another inference question. In other words, you're not going to see the answer categorically documented for you in that passage that the decision that Lily made that changed her life was A, B, C. Well, but you can infer if you've listened and you followed along with the reading. So you're going to see that a decision that she made that changed her life can be seen from uh, this paragraph over here. From that moment on, Lily's life changed. She began to read the Bible and pray every day. Why? Because she invited Jesus into her heart. So you're welcome to document that answer like that, that the decision that Lily made that changed her life was the decision to believe and invite Jesus into her life. All right. Question number two. What can we infer grew Lily's relationship with God? All right. So we're going to see over here. As she grew in her faith, Lily faced challenges and struggles. Struggles, But she knew that she could always turn to Jesus for help and guidance. And she continued to attend church and grow in her relationship with church, with God. So we're going to see that over here, being able to attend church, being able to know that when I need help and guidance, I can turn to Jesus. Those are the things that grew Lily's relationship with God. You can infer that from there. Okay. Question number three. Lily faced challenges even after she gave her life to Christ. But God was always there to see her through. Is this true or false? The answer, of course, is going to be true. Okay. What does the story teach us? Well, the story teaches us, firstly, if you want peace and joy in your heart, you got to give your life over to Jesus. And it's very simple. Let's say, Jesus, come into my heart. I believe in you. Please be my Lord in the name of Jesus. You make that simple prayer like that. There is going to be supernatural peace and joy and righteousness in your heart. It's going to change you forever. And then secondly, when you face challenges, you know that you're not alone. So you have, you have somebody to talk to. His name is Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords. So hopefully you can learn that from that story by the grace of God. All right, so we're going to go right now to the vocabulary building section of today's reading, which is going to be an opportunity for you to learn new words and learn how to use new words in sentences. So you might have found new words like personal, like relationship, like a new found. Um, I think the word relationship was duplicated here. Like a stir, like hesitate, like urge. So let's go ahead and try to uh, understand the meaning of some of those words in here. So we typically just go to dictionary. Alright, so we are going to go into our dictionary over here. We're going to type dictionary.com. So for example, if we wanted to understand what's the meaning of the word newfound? Well, newfound is going to be an adjective which means newly discovered or found. Newfound friends, okay? 
How is he pronounced? Well, we click on this audio button. New found. New found. See that? New found. New found or new found. Okay. And the IP version of it is going to be like that. Okay. New found. Okay. Perfect. All right. So um, right now you are going to go ahead and try to do that for the rest of these words over here in the vocabulary section. Type them in into your dictionary. Uh, try to use them in sentences and the words will stick to you. So moms and dads, please help them do that and, and you're welcome to create exercises around this so, um, over there so that they can uh, retain the content a little bit better. Well, I want to thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with hero's boy.